little, and I promise I'll do it short. I will just uh, briefly uh, give a status on the High Latitude Task Team. And to begin with, I can say that there seems to be a great interest in re-establishing the, uh, the task team. And yesterday, many of us uh, came together during the coffee break, and we started to sort of brainstorming <laughs> on some of the tasks and topics that we could look into. And I've just uh, provided the topics and the task here, and I'm happy to see that, that many of these, or almost all of these, were aligned with the GRIS priorities that Anne just showed. Um, yeah, and I'll just... I don't think I will go through them all again. I mean, most of you were in the meeting yesterday, um, but oh, I can do it very briefly. But the first one is just as we talked all about already to uh, assess the consistency of sea ice surface temperature, sea surface temperature, and sea ice concentration. And then we also talked about if we should uh, agree on a reference figure for IST uh, on the definition of IST in a similar way as it is, has been done in GRIS for SST. And we talked about um, validating both a sea surface temperature, but also in particular ice surface temperatures using FRMs. And we discussed that it would be great to look into and to probably determine a relationship between the different surface temperature estimates and the sub-ice surface temperatures and the sea ice concentrations in the marginalized zone. So basically to have a, a more focus on the marginalized zone. And it was also raised that we would like to look into why there are so large errors in the level four products and differences in the level four products in the high latitudes and see if we can kind of split uh, the signal that we see into contributions from um, from different uh, things. And we also wanted to have a greater focus on cloud masking OIs and we discussed whether that belongs in the task team for cloud masking or if it should be part of this high latitude task team. And then it was also being suggested that the task team could also kind of be advisors uh, to the SST users on how to use the different sea ice concentration products and handle the ice masking in the sea surface temperature products. Um, so I listed a bunch of names up there, and those uh, that's those that attended yesterday. And if you're not on the list and you were there yesterday, please reach out to me. And if you were not there yesterday and you want to be part of this, also please reach out to me. Uh, I think I have five people coming to me already. Um, yes. And, oh, yeah, one last thing. If you are interested in being a chair or co-chair, also please reach out to us. That's all. Thank you.